Welcome to Raj Malhotra's IS Academy. I'm Surbhi Sardana and this is Prelim Sprint 2022 where we are teaching you the most essential topics you need to know to crack prelims this year. So topic for today is Species Part 4. Uh, we've covered three lectures for the series and this is the last lecture. There are no more species uh, required from our side that you need to cover. And let's see what are the important species for today. The uh, first one is the bro antler deer. It is also known as the Shanghai deer or the dancing deer. As the name indicates, dancing deer, it stands on fumdis. Ye fumdis pe khada hota hai. To jab ye khada hota hai, fumdis are floating islands ki tarah hota hai. Uh, uh, jo cable, uh, cable Lamjao National Park hai, Manipur ki lokta, uh, Manipur mein. Us mein jo loktak lake hai, there uh, we find fumdis or what, uh, what are fumdis? Floating biomass. The floating biomass per, this is the picture here, it is standing on floating biomass and when it is floating biomass per, so it appears to be the dancing deer. This is why you names the bro antler deer, sangai deer and dancing deer all. The IUCN status for this is endangered and this wildlife protection act schedule 1 ke under aata hai. Its home range where it is found, it is found only here, Kebul Lamjao National Park in Manipur. Uske andar jo loktak lake hai, wahan par ye milta hai. So, uh, it faces threat. Threat kya hoga iske habitat ko lekar? What would be the threat? Obviously, since it is dependent on fumdis and it, it is dependent on the habitat survival of the national park itself. So, jo pollution hai ya jo invasive speci species hai. For example, there are many species uh, which are invasive weeds in that uh, area. So, us wo jab species aa jaati hai, to fumdis nahi ban paati hai. Uske upar ye, ye jo uh, deer hai, ye survive nahi kar paata. Rising pollution ya kuch bhi reservoir ka jo bahav hai, if the reservoir is stopped at a place. So, these are the broad threats for its survival. So, Sangai faces threat from st uh, steadily degenerating habitat of Fumdi as a result of continuous inundation. Flooding is very hoti hai in Brahmaputra river valley. Mein. So, flooding ki wajah se uh, Fumdi is inundated ho jati hai, doob jati hai and that's why it cannot survive. Caused due to artificial reservoir. Water quality of the reservoir is uh, degrading due to pollution and stoppage of nutrient supply or invasion of non-native uh, plants like paragrass. This has been asked by UPSC in one of the previous year questions. So, make sure that you remember this. This is the picture of Cable Lamjao National Park. These are fumdis that are here. It is inundated. So, uh, this is for a better uh, visual representation for you. Moving on to the next species. The next one is dugong. Dugong ko sea cow bhi bolte. Here is the picture, uh, pictorial representation of the sea cow. Since it is the sea cow, it depends on sea weeds and sea grasses. Ye sea grasses khati hai apne survival ke liye, since it is known as the sea cow. IUCN status is vulnerable hai. Bohat sare waters mein pai jate, cold and warm waters both of Indo-Pacific, which spans around 37 countries around the globe. Pele, uh, before, a lot of time before, a uh, lot of years before, it was found all along the coastline of India, spanning uh, across Andhra Pradesh, Odisha and West Bengal. But now it is restricted to Gulf of uh, Mannar, Park Bay, Park Bay, Gulf of Mannar, Andaman, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and Gulf of Kutch. So this is, uh, earlier it was abundant in, uh, the towards the entire coastline of India, but now it is found here only. So what are the activities that, uh, you know, are threat to a survival? We'll do that in a while, but uh, its habitat is mostly sea grasses. It is a mammal, marine mammal. Aise char tarike ke mammals hote and uh, sea cow is one of the four surviving species in the order Serenia and it is the only existing species of herbivorous mammal that lives exclude, uh, exclusively in the sea, including in India. So, uh, just remember its IUCN status, it is vulnerable and uh, Wildlife Protection Act Schedule 1 mein aati, just, uh, just because uh, an animal or you know, a marine mammal is vulnerable doesn't mean that the Wildlife Protection Act ke under unko protection nahi milegi ya bohat hi kam protection milegi. So that has to be remembered separately. The threats to its survival or the threats to its, hab its habitat are mostly the same which are there for other uh, marine animals. For example, human activities, increasing of pollution, uh, you know, accidents with the ships that walk through or being trapped in the trawlers that are used for fishing. So, these are the broad threats that are there for dugong. Now, we'll move on to the next animal very quickly and it is the hangul or Kashmir stag. This is a 
kind of deer, kind of a red deer uh, which is found in Kashmir area of India. So as you can see this deer appears to be red in color. It is said that it might soon be extinct. बहुत लंबे टाइम तक इसको एक दूसरे डियर के साथ कन्फ्यूज किया जाता था सो वी डिड नॉट नो दैट दिस इज अ सेपरेट काइंड ऑफ डियर विच इज अ सब स्पीशीज ऑफ सेंट्रल एशियन रेड डियर एंड इट इज एंडमिक टू कश्मीर एंड सराउंडिंग एरियाज वॉट इज एन एंडमिक एनिमल एंडमिक एनिमल और स्पीशीज आर दो स्पीशीज जो सिर्फ उसी एरिया में पाई जाती हैं दुनिया में और कहीं नहीं पाई जाती सो हंगूल और कश्मीर स्टैग इज एंडमिक टू कश्मीर एरिया एस्पेशली इन द दाचिगम नेशनल पार्क सो आफ्टर वेन इट वॉज रेकग्नाइज दैट इट इज़ अ सब स्पीशीज ऑफ सेंट्रल एशियन रेड डियर एंड इट इज़ एंडमिक टू कश्मीर एरिया ओनली सो आई यू सी एन ने इसको अलग क्लासीफिकेशन दी एंड द क्लासीफिकेशन वॉज ऑफ क्रिटिकली एंडेंजर्ड and of course it finds a reference in wildlife protection act schedule 1 kashmir had a separate wildlife protection act but highest protection is given to it under the legal uh, legal uh, uh, legal uh, documents that are available for its protection so it was once wi widely distributed over kashmir and areas of himachal pradesh himachal pradesh ki chamba district mein paya jata tha but now it has been restricted to kashmir only especially the dachigam national park that's why you know project hangul has been launched project hangul has been launched uh, with the collaboration of iucn see when iucn comes forward to protect a species that means uh, it is very important around 150 individuals of the species are left not more than that and uh, which is a very crazy kind of a situation because it might soon be extinct so iucn world wildlife fund uh, and uh, jnk government have come together to launch project hangul and uh, to the uh, for the protection of this species as you can see here uh, there in the snow in background so it is a uh, hangul is considered equally significant to the ecology of jammu and kashmir as tiger is considered to the whole of india so that is a very important species there it is the only asiatic survivor or subspecies of the european red deer or uh, central asian red deer so um, its uh, population is around 197 uh, around 197 and it has gone down with time so the protection efforts are very high just remember uh, to differentiate between all kinds of deers that we are studying here because that will go a long way it is also the state animal of jammu and kashmir so uh, earlier it was the state animal of jammu and kashmir before the you know bifurcation happened so just remember the state animal state birds and remember the differences that we learn in the uh, sub species of same kinds of animals moving on uh, here we'll be doing the nilgiri tahar as the name indicates it is found in nilgiri areas or western ghats of india here is the map so this is where uh, nilgiri tahar is found this is it's it is endemic to this area again uh, uh, this uh, the previous year that we studied was endemic to jammu and kashmir area this is endemic to the western ghats only the iucn status for nilgiri tahar is endangered and again this uh, species finds reference in wildlife protection act schedule 1 this one is the state animal of tamil nadu earlier it was found entirely in south india both in western ghats and eastern ghats but now it uh, now due to loss of habitat it has been restricted ye sirf ab western ghats mein paya jata hai what is its habitat what kind of habitat it is so mostly grassy areas we'll uh, read this that nilgiri tahar is an ungulate found at high elevations or cliffs grass covered hills and open terrain that is open montane grasslands which are found in western ghats at an altitude of 1200 to 2600 meters of south western ghats as you can see there south uh, southern area of western ghats their present distribution is limited approximately to 5% of the western ghats in southern india and there are two states where it is found it is the state animal of tamil nadu but it is found both in kerala and tamil nadu so it is not endemic to uh, to tamil nadu it is endemic to southern area of western ghats so uh, two states are there where it is found just remember this and iravikulam national park is located there and where uh, you know in the southern uh, area of india where it has the highest population there is mukurthi national park also where this animal is found but iravikulam has almost 70% of the population of nilgiri tahar so what are the uh, principal threats to it obviously habitat loss loss of grasslands or uh, 
कमिंग इन ऑफ इन्वेजिव स्पीशीज वेन एवर यू नो न्यू जब भी कोई नई स्पीशीज आती है स्पेशली इफ इट इज़ अ फ्लारिंग स्पीशीज अर्लियर इट इज़ नॉट रिकोगनाइज कि एक थ्रेट हो सकती है वहाँ की बायोडाइवर्सिटी के लिए जो कि इंडिजिनस प्लांट वेराइटीज होती हैं जिन पर ऐसी स्पीशीज डिपेंड करती है उनके लिए थ्रेट हो सकती है आफ्टर अ सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम इट इज़ रियलाइज दैट इन्वेजिव स्पीशीज आर अ थ्रेट टू सर्वाइवल ऑफ नीलगिरी ताहर बिकॉज दे के नॉट कंज्यूम कंज्यूम दोज प्लांट्स so uh, that's uh, that was about it and uh, diseases from livestock are also common uh, domesticated animals से या और livestock से जो diseases इनमें फैल जाते हैं उस वजह से काफ़ी deaths होती है so that is all about nilgiri tahar now we'll study two turtles today the first one is the olive ridley turtle the second one is the फ्रेश वाटर ब्लैक सॉफ्ट शेल टर्टल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट आर सॉफ्ट शेल टर्टल्स In soft shell turtles, the top or the back of turtle is fleshy, means it is very soft. In hard shell turtles, the top or back is made up of bone and it is covered by skin or epidermis. Means hard shell turtles में जो back और top area होता है, that is very hard. And what is a hard part made of? Epidermis or bone part. And leather back turtles जो होते हैं, वो दोनों के कॉम्बिनेशन होते हैं दे आर नाइ नाइ वेरी सॉफ्ट और नॉर वेरी हार्ड सो वील बी डिस्कसिंग वन ऑफ द सॉफ्ट शेल टर्टल्स हियर एंड देन बिफोर दैट वील बी डिस्कसिंग ऑलिव रिडली टर्टल्स सो ऑलिव रिडली टर्टल्स का जो स्टेटस है दैट इज वेबल ऑन आई यू सी एन लिस्ट जो ईस्ट कोस्ट ऑफ इंडिया है स्पैनिंग आंध्र प्रदेश उड़ीसा वेस्ट बंगाल वहाँ पर ऑलिव रिडली टर्टल्स पाए जाते हैं स्पेशली इन द ऑन द गहिर माथा बीच where it uh, where it is located in the bhitar kanika wildlife sanctuary so uh, this is where it is found it is formed uh, sirf uh, india mein hi nahi there are uh, many areas where olive ridley turtles are found and where are they found in warm waters of indian and pacific ocean this is a very important point here that if a question comes that uh, you know they are found only in india or they are endemic only to india you should remember that where are they found so just to zoom this see uh, this range this is your bhitar kanika wildlife sanctuary this is the state of odisha and this is your olive ridley turtle so uh when ever nesting has to happen you mostly apna jo time hai sea mein hi spend karte hain water mein spend karte hain they spend their time in water but uh, whenever nesting has to happen the females have to lay their eggs they come to the beach and what is the beach it is it is the gahir matha beach where most of aribada happens what is aribada laying of eggs nesting is known as aribada just remember this term so to uh, protect this uh, protect these turtles because again they are found uh, trapped in nets and trawlers and they are very you know small in size and uh, they uh, they are very huge in number but small in size so they have to be protected at any cost so many operations have been launched many schemes have been launched two of them are important uh, operation save kurma see kurma in hindu mythology is said to be an avatar of lord vishnu which was in the form of turtle so operation save kurma has been uh, con uh, has been taken over has been started by wildlife Ki crime control bureau to protect its international trade international illegal trade ko uh, trade ko rokne ke liye operation save kurma has been launched the other one is operation olivia olive ridley turtle se naam aata hai operation olivia and it is uh, launched by indian coast guard to protect their nesting sites the next one is fresh water black soft shell turtle first of all whenever you are reading about animals which stay in water you should learn to differentiate between fresh water and saline water or marine water species so jo bhi sea coast ke paas pai jayengi they will be uh, they will not be fresh water species jo bhi rivers mein ya ponds mein pai jayengi they will be fresh water species so this is fresh water black soft shell turtle the special part the interesting part about this uh, turtle is that it was believed ki turtle extinct ho chuka hai then it was found out that there are two temples the uh, one of them is hayagriva mahad uh, madhav temple uh, in assam jahan pe ye paya jata hai wahan ke temple ke pond mein in the pond of that temple this turtle is still found and that's why conservation efforts have been revamped and uh, this is an mou which was signed between two ngos assam assam state zoo and botanical garden authority and kamrup district administration means many 
uh, many authorities came together for the conservation of these turtles. What uh, and a vision document was also developed for 2030 for increasing the population of these individuals. What is the IUCN uh, status of these turtles? It is critically endangered. Earlier, uh, you know, again talking about the habitat, earlier it was found along the Brahmaputra river's drainage all over Assam, Pura Jo Brahmaputra river drainage system hapka, and in ponds of temples in north in northeastern India and Bangladesh. Now it is found in Bangladesh, but in India it is restricted only to two temples, which is uh, Hayagriva Madhav temple uh, uh, as we studied in the news uh, headline that we studied in the point one. And the second one, uh, second temple is in Tripura, it is called the Kalyan Sagar Lake in Tripura. Sundari temple in Udaipur, uh, this is uh, Udaipur of Tripura, not of Rajasthan. So, these are the only areas where it is found. It can be extinct anytime because it temple ponds. Mein hi milta hai. So, conservation efforts are on to protect this. And uh, the special part is that Wildlife Protection Act ke under, isko abhi tak, uh, uh, it has not found mention or any status of protection under WPA 1972. So, what are the threats? Turtles are always illegally traded for their meat, for their medicinal properties and uh, the same go, uh, case goes here. So, it is, uh, it is hunted, it is, uh, you know, it is poached for its meat, for its leather and for its medicinal properties. So, that is why its population is dwindling and recently it has come in news and recently it has come into limelight uh, of various governments that uh, we need to protect this. So, uh, we have really less time to protect the species. The last one is the slender, uh, slender loris. You know, slender loris is a kind of a primate. It is a type of monkey, as you can see here. Yeah, and it is a very shy monkey. Either it stays alone or in pairs. Uh, not more than that. Its conservation status is in IUCN red list. It is uh, under endangered. For uh, in sites, it is in Appendix Two and in uh, Wildlife Protection Act Schedule One to provide maximum protection. It has been uh, advised to the Tamil, Tamil Nadu government that the wildlife reserve, reserve forest, mein jahan par slender loris paya jata hai because its status is endangered. Just see, uh, just look at the size of this primate. It is like almost equivalent or even less than the hand of a human being. So, where to protect the, to increase the protection efforts, it was decided, it was advised to Tamil Nadu government that this area should be declared as a sanctuary for the slender loris. How does it help the ecosystem? It keeps away the pest or whatever harmful uh, weeds are there or pests are there, it keeps them away and establishes a balance of the ecosystem. So, that is why it is important and this is why it was in the news. Just remember that it is found in India and Sri Lanka. It is endemic to India and Sri Lanka and Tamil Nadu in Kadavur forest, Kadavur reserve forest. This is where it is found in India. So, it is endemic in India in Kadavur reserve forest. Just remember all these facts about the species that we have discussed here. The PDF uh, for this entire presentation is available in the link in the description below. It will take you to our, uh, to our telegram channel and from there you can download it. All the best uh, for your preparation and for the results also. Keep working hard. Stay tuned. If you have not subscribed, this is the right time.